In today's Tap Talk, a fun collaboration has resulted in a new brew with a Mexican flair. But joining us now to talk about El Viaje is Liftridge co-owner Brad Glenn. Brad, thanks for coming in. Thank you for and having me. And Bernice Reyes is doing all the hard work over there from Acapulco <laughs> Family <good>. Restaurant. <laughs> Bernice, this looks great. We'll talk about that in a second. Brad, tell us how this kind of collaboration came up. Oh, like any great idea, it usually comes up over a beer. A beer. So, <laughs> right, so Sam Leone and myself uh, were at the brewery one day drinking beer and uh, talking about, you know, a collaboration would be really cool to do and but we really we want to do it well right we didn't want to do it with flavorings and you know big limes and beer so we actually started talking about um, uh, using tequila and specifically tequila barrels so actually so that's this what is, this is right this here. is a head of a barrel that actually comes from a uh, kind of distant relatives uh, distillery tequila distillery in Jalisco Mexico We're so I'm like some and of then, the food that Bernice was doing there let me show yeah. can you hold this up again so people can see this is this is actually from Jalisco. Yes, Mexico. and you can actually smell the tequila. It's a tequila barrel. Yeah, it's a tequila oh, barrel. Yeah. So huh. we actually broke these down, and that, that's where the trip uh, was born. Oh, yeah. So uh, one trip. of their uncles went down and broke down some barrels. We actually uh, soaked these barrels in the beer, so it infused that smoky tequila flavor right into and the you got beer. A little agave Very in natural there too, to sweeten it up. To sweeten as well. up, that oakiness oh. can get a little bit bitter, so we sweeten up a little agave. So cool. And we're actually Bernice. doing the, the chorizo in beer as well, right? Yep. So we got going with the local theme. We met up with uh, Brian's, and it was really cool because he made fresh green chorizo. And what makes this chorizo um, really special is that it's using roasted poblanos, serranos, and cilantro, but it's not super spicy. It's very tolerable it's for the great, Minnesota palate. Yes, yes, it's a great <laughs> so, Minnesota chorizo. And then we put lots of beer in it, and now we're making some tacos. So I got here some potatoes, some pico de gallo, and then I sliced the chorizo, and then I'm just going to assemble the tacos so you guys can try it out. Yes, please. Yes. We've been so, smelling excited. it for okay. an hour. <laughs> yeah, so then. So beautiful. Great color in there as well. Yeah, and this is what I grew up eating. My grandma would make papas and chorizo all the time, so I kind of was inspired by my grandmother's cooking and it's always fun when I go to her house because I always get to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Mija, do you want some food? I'm like, yes. <laughs> See, and then I your just, grandma looks at you and is like, you need to eat. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so and I'm like, grandma, I have to go to the gym all the time to keep up. <laughs> well, and then, you might be competing with grandma these days. These look good. Yep, and then we just top it off with a little bit of queso fresco just to add a little bit of creaminess. Um, a lot of tacos normally have lots of sour cream and I just wanted to lighten it up with queso fresco, keep it more on the lighter flair. And then we just top it off with some fresh cilantro. Beautiful. And, and people want these. these, and they can actually get these same tacos in your restaurants. Today. Yep, so they're ready for lunch. So you guys can stop by, have them ready to go, and we will see you Wash guys there. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So ah, both of these Thank companies you. headquartered in Stillwater, but Acapulco, people Ooh. know because there are eight of them all around. Yes. Right? Yeah, very good. And Let's where can people get the beer? How are we can they get the beer at the restaurant? At all yeah. locations, plus the tap room. As plus well. in the tap room. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very cool. And, and you, you guys are the first ones to try it out. So what do you guys think? Very hot. <laughs> Just came off the stove top. Temperature. No, yeah. Yeah. Great flavor. Mm. 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 All right. Yeah, the chorizo, you're right. Not super spicy at no. all. No, no, no. Very flavorful, especially from the beer. And then, you know, we're getting a product that's locally made. And the cool thing about Brian's is they're literally making it the day before for us. So that way it's fresh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Being, you know, supporting our local partners. And we yeah. were super excited to have this partnership. It's yeah, so it's fun. Really the beer good. is called El Viaje. From Liftbridge, <laughs> ask for it when you go to Acapulco restaurants. Thank you, Bernice. Thanks, Brad. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you.